Hello, kinder leaders. Since our science focus this week is all about finding animals in the woods, I thought it might be fun to write a book that's also about finding animals throughout or, um, in the different places in the world. So today we'll be reading a book called I See a Kookaburra, Discovering Animal Habitats Around the World. And habitats is just a big word for the place where animals live. And this book is written by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. That, those are our authors. So first we travel to the desert. What kinds of animals do you think you might find in the desert? You can make a prediction or you can look for, at the picture and see what you might see. It says, in the desert, I see a sharp-eyed sharp kit fox leaving its burrow. A trapdoor spider waiting patiently in its tunnel. A long-nosed bat. Sipping nectar from a flower. What animal, what other animal also sips nectar from a flower? Hmm. An angry diamondback rattlesnake buzzing a warning. A tiny elf owl making its nest in a giant cactus. A kangaroo rat bounding over the sand. A javelina sniffing out tender roots, a poisonous gila monster creeping slowly over the rocks. What animal from the desert is your favorite? Next, we're traveling to the tide pool. What animals do you think you'll see in a tide pool? In a tide pool, I see a natterjack toad looking like a wet, bumpy rock, a stinging anemone hatching a ride, a hermit crab looking for a new home, a sea star holding tight with all five arms, a peacock worm spreading its feathery tentacles, a hungry oyster catcher searching for a juicy shellfish, a sea urchin, a colorful pincushion, a poisonous weaver fish waiting for its next meal. What animal from the tide pool is your favorite? Next, we travel to the jungle. In the jungle, I see a toucan and its large, colorful bill, a jaguar, a spotted coat that helps it hide in the forest's dappled light, a red-eyed tree frog, startling an attacker with its bright eyes. A young emerald tree boa, born red, it will turn a brilliant green when it grows up. A harpy eagle, the most powerful butterfly in the world. A rhinoceros beetle, the world's strongest insect. A spider monkey, escaping danger, by swinging from branch to branch. The fierce looking but timid iguana. Ooh, what jungle animal is your favorite? Think about all sorts of really cool ones. Next is to the savanna of Africa. Mm, what do you think we'll see here? On the savanna, I see 
a serval hunting in the tall grass, a giraffe antelope stretching to reach the tender leaves of a thorn tree, a busy elephant trill scurrying through the brush, a dung beetle rolling animal droppings into a ball, a nearsighted rhinoceros who is able to charge at 30 miles per hour as fast, as fast as a car on some roads. A secretary bird who kills snakes by stomping on them with their feet. A termite guarding its nest, a mound, of, a mound 30 feet tall, a naked mole rat, nearly blind and almost hairless. Mm. What grassland or savanna animal is your favorite? Next, we travel to the forest. This is a forest in Eastern Australia. What animals do you think you'll see in Australia? In the forest, I see a noisy kookaburra with a call that sounds like crazy laughter. A cicada bug that spreads it, spends its first seven years living underground. A dingo, a fierce wild dog on the hunt. A frilled lizard startling an attacker. A furry koala fast asleep. A walking sick insect hiding in plain sight. An echinda, a prickly egg legging mammal. And a cassowary, a huge flightless bird with a helmet on its head. Ooh, all sorts of cool animals in the forests of Australia. What animal's your favorite? All right, and our last stop today will be a pond. And this is a pond in America, the American Midwest. What animals do you think you'll see in this pond? In a pond, I see a hungry northern pike lying in wait for its next victim. A kingfisher splashing into the water to catch a fish. A water spider with a bubble of air trapped in its web. A red spotted newt warning predators to stay away with its bright orange skin. What animal is this? A dragonfly hovering lightly above the water. What else do you know about dragonflies? A great blue heron standing very still as it appeared, as it waits to spear a fish. A sleek muskrat going for a swim. And an alligator snapping turtle buried in the mud. What pond animal was your favorite? Or what animal altogether is your favorite? Was your favorite animal in the book? If so, where did it live? I hope you enjoyed reading I See a Kookaburra, and I hope you learned something new about where animals live. Thanks for stopping by. Check back in tomorrow for another read aloud.